What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere. Welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. In today's episode, we are going to be diving into our Factorio playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to smash that like button, the subscribe button, as well as the little notification bell down there at the bottom to stay up to date with all new content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, uh, just want to chat in the comments, be sure to leave your comment down in the comments down below, and I will be sure to answer right back to you when I can. Uh, if you want something a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, I do stream every Every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash bedivere all the links to all my socials in the description down below all right let's get started so we're gonna hop back into our game here and in the last episode we were or in the last kind of few episodes we've been building all of our walls which they're almost almost finished uh, constructing here automatically we're not we're not moving a muscle which is great um, but something I forgot to do which I caught is add this little pipe here. This is a bonehead move because now this was getting filled up because we weren't recycling basically half of what we were producing. Uh, but what I, what I can do right now is just to try to keep these even. I'll try to, uh, I'll just, there we go. Is that a lot? Is that all like backed up? Looks like that was all backed up heavy oil. Still backed up. All right, well, uh, well, we'll kind of leave that as is for now. Uh, but I think everything else is good. If I miss something, just let me know in the comments down below. All right, in this in this game, let's let's look at our map real quick before we do anything. So we've pretty much finished our like quote unquote starter bus base. Uh, we're severely lacking on the copper. Pretty much almost all of our copper is being used to make green circuits. Um, so yeah, we're, we're severely lacking even here. Like we need more copper for the, the red circuits. I mean, we got some, we got some copper mines here or patches here, but like, nowhere really to do a huge huge mega base style smelting column because this is where you want to start transitioning to your mega base you're pretty much set uh, let's look at our technology you got you're almost pretty much almost done with all of the regular technologies now you're moving on to almost the repeatable ones um so this is where we, you want to start kind of planning how you want to transition from this type of base into a mega base now since we have biters on those are going to be the biggest things that we have to worry about but they're a complete hassle to to take out and you can't really expect to go in a car and just take out each base one by one you want to do it a little bit more manually or automatically i mean um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a train but it's not just any type of train we're gonna build an an artillery train and we're going to build it at the end of our bus because we're not we're not worried about launching a rocket so to say i don't think we really need to launch a rocket until i'm going to save the rocket launch to the very end of our game i think that'll be that'll be nice to once we've fully transitioned to a mega base we'll we'll then launch a rocket all right and then that mega base will be kind of like the building block of an expandable mega base that you'd want uh, but we're we're getting ahead of ourselves but right now i want to build a artil an artillery train right at the end of this line right here so that an artillery train can come in re refuel rearm and then go back out to these outposts right here and then take out all of these bases um the thing with the artillery train is they'll they'll take out all the uh the boxes here are the bases and then the little ones are are like worms are the are the spitter worms so what we'll do is once an artillery train comes in here it'll automatically target those bases obviously it'll aggro it'll aggro the biters and the biters will be forced to attack um but that's why we have our wall set up and this southern wall is like pretty much done even if it was even even if it was half done with just one row of 
laser turrets and the and the um, flamethrower turrets would be completely fine. The flamethrower turrets are completely OP. So we'll we'll go down south here. We'll kind of clear these bases, and then that'll give time for this northern wall, especially down here, to just kind of finish out. Um, but here's fine. We could probably land grab here. And yeah, that's the that's the plan for this episode is to get that train rolling up. Ah, but before we do that, in order to get the artillery research, which will unlock the artillery wagon, artillery turret, artillery shell and the targeting remote, we need to research the tank, which has the explosive cannon shells, and then we can do the artillery. Uh, this is going to take a while. So I'll just go off of the recipes uh, in order to build everything. All right. The tank shouldn't take too long. The artillery research should take a lot longer. Whoops. Okay. Starting the episode off right. I love it. Uh, but actually, what we could do, what we could do, and this has been a long time coming, is get this power armor mark two. We're going to need efficiency module two. How I want to do that is... I want to change this recipe. I can make these productivity modules into the efficiency modules mark two. And then what I'll do is I'll just delete the output. So it won't go on the belt for over here. It'll just kind of stock them up. They're actually, I mean, I don't mind, I don't mind it stocking them up. They'll just hold here. Um, I'll have those being built. How much do I need? 25, I want to say. Yeah, 25. And then what I'll do is I will, let's see, I'll delete the inputs for, for these bad boys so that we can stock up on the Mark II speed modules as well. All right, that'll, that'll make in the background. And then let's see here. Oh, I need my car. We're gonna go to the bottom and start our train or start our production. So the cannon, or not the cannon, but the tank, the tank is, is researched and ready to go. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff. Also this, and then let's pull up these bad boys, explosive cannon shells. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make these. Our, our goal, let's pull up our research real quick. Our goal is going to be making one artillery shell per second. And, uh, it, I think that'll be overkill, but I think that's a nice round number to, to shoot for. And if we don't use one artillery shell per second, then that's fine. Uh, Cause these take up one full inventory slot. So if we have, you know, a wagon full, I don't, I don't remember how many the wagons can hold, but yeah, let's just shoot for, for one per second for now. And then if we need to, once we expand our mega base, we can, we can expand on that. So we need eight explosives, four ex explosive cannon shells and one radar. I'm going to make the radar last since I'm guessing that'll take the least amount, four explosive cannon shells and, and eight explosives. Now the explosive cannon shells also require explosives on top of providing explosive for the for the artil artillery so if we need four of these we're gonna need four times two explosive which is also eight so we're gonna need in total in total let's go to our research sorry in total we're gonna need 16 explosives per second now what is the recipe for that one coal, one sulfur, and 10 water. Now, if we need 16, technically that doesn't fit on a red belt or it doesn't fit on a yellow belt. But for our cases, I think we can, we can kind of skip it or not skip it, but um, look past it that's what i'm trying to say uh so we're gonna need the 16 sulfur which i think is probably gonna be our hardest thing is 16 sulfur uh and then let's look at our sulfur oh actually no it won't be hard it's two sulfur 
per second that it that it crafts so let's actually make that on the side of our of our fluids and keep it keep it consistent uh what's the sulfur gonna need petroleum gas so let's bring down our petroleum wherever that is as well as our water turn on our bots go all right and then we'll we'll add one more perfect and then this I want the input of the sulfur to be on a red belt with the coal. So how do I want this to look? Uh, the explosives, explosives need coal, sulfur, and water. So let's lay down power pole with the assembler and then the red line for our inputs coming in. Whoops, no, no, no. There we go. Okay, so it looks like our coal can go on this belt right here. Uh, we will do something like this. Actually, no, one more because I wanna make sure. How do I wanna do this? go and then I'm going to change this to a yellow belt just to force the coal to take up a yellow belt and one full yellow belt is perfect on a on the side of a red belt so that's perfectly fine and then this is going to be where our sulfur comes in but it's got to be on the far side of the belt so Let's see where how our power situation is going to look. Just add something like that. And then our sulfur needs water and petroleum gas. So we're going to have to do something like so. We want sulfur. Okay, I think that'll work. Petroleum, petroleum gas going in here. And then the water is going to come through here. Uh, this might be an issue. Okay, actually, let's switch this around. Let's make this the petroleum. I want to make sure it can reach. Yes, it can. Okay. And then if we can make this the water. Like that. Okay. That'll work. And then the water will come in up top. And then let's add these regular pipes down here. There we go. Now we got sulfur. And how many this does does this make per second? Uh, two per second. So we're gonna need eight in order to make sixteen. Uh, let's add our blue inserters. Ooh, while I'm here, uh, let's get lights. This is that's four. Just need to double it. There we go. There's our eight. There's our 16 per second sulfur that we need. 
Oh, sweet. This is uh, going to help us build everything. Okay, so we're going to need our... Where is it? Explosives, please. Cooperate. Not cliff explosives. What are they made again? Oh, they're probably made in the uh, chemical plant. That explains it. Explosives. Gonna need water. Uh, this water. Oh, since we... Actually, hold on. There we go. We can do this, that, add a pipe there and there, and just in between. This is not, oh, it doesn't reach. Um, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of help. Whoops. I don't know why these belts are not acting the way that I want them to today. Okay, so we got water going this way now as well. Now we're going to need inserters on either end. And there we go. We got our explosives. Okay. How many explosives uh, did we need? We needed eight. I mean, we can just keep it on a, keep it on a red belt. Because we need eight per second. And if it's going on one side of the belt. Uh, let me just double check something real quick. No, we don't need eight per second. We need 16 per second. Yeah, because then the, the artillery shells. We need four times two, another eight. Okay, so yeah, we need 16. So what we'll do is we'll keep it on one side of this. And then we'll double this. What does this make? Uh, four makes one per second. So we're going to need this times 16. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four. And then let's copy this and do this four times. One. Three. Okay, so that's three. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some help here from my bots. Okay, let's see if we can get some some robo ports here to help us out. There we go. And then we'll add a couple more robo ports here at the end. Okay, so that was three. We're gonna need to copy paste and we're gonna we're gonna turn it. And we're gonna do something like that. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. All right, so that's all running. That's cool looking. And then we're gonna have our bots, or is the construction zone big enough? Yes, it is, okay. So this is making our 16 per second that we need. Uh, and we finished our artillery, awesome. Let's stop research there. And then let's get rid of these trees. Sorry, nature. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so, so satisfying. All right. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to need, we need to build. Um, 
Oh, actually, I don't need to even go to the research anymore. I can just go to these shells. Okay, so we got our eight explosives. Half of that needs to split off to make the cannon shells. Cannon shells is what's what we're going to make next. All right. So this will probably go down here. And then let's go back to the cannon shells. Cannon shells, we need steel and plastic bar. And we're gonna need four of these per second. So eight steel and eight plastic bar per second. Great. It's not like we're short on steel or anything. Uh, but yeah, eight steel, eight plastic bar. Eight steel, eight plastic bar. Okay, so we're gonna use another red. And then what are these made in? These are made in, I'm assuming assemblers. Yeah. We're gonna have two inputs. One of them is gonna be half of these. And then the other half is gonna continue down. We're gonna have this, this. And then that, that. And then we're going to bring our steel and plastic bars on a belt. Ah, crud. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do some, a little bit of spaghetti here. The steel can come on this end. Steel can come down right down there. And then we're going to do something like this. Something like that. There we go. And then we're going to split off there. So there's our there's our plastic bar, there's our steel. Perfect. So this should be making, or not making, but you know what I mean. Okay. So we have, we have the explosives, we have the explosive cannon shells, and then we need radars. Uh, radars is gonna be the last thing that we need. Uh, let's put both of these things on a belt, or on the same belt. Turn this. Let's turn this as well. Have that come here. There we go. Those are on the same belt. Awesome. Let's build these out. Uh, what was this recipe again? Eight seconds for one per second. All right. So we're going to need eight of these. Whoops. So that's four, six, eight for one per second. And then how, how many do we need? We need four per second. So we need to quadruple this. So that's one, two, and then let's just double this. There we go. All right, so that's that. That's the, that's the explosive cannon shells. And then we got that output taken care of. Next is radars. Radars need iron plate, iron gears, and electronic circuit. So how do we want to do this? We can bring the iron plate in on the inside, right? Or let's just, let's set our, set our assemblers first. This is probably going to need, hold on, one, two, three. This is probably gonna need something like that, to be honest. Hold on, how many, how many does it need per second? I only need one radar per second. It needs five iron gears. How many does, what's the craft time for iron gears? Uh, let's make this radar.
gears are I can make two I can make two per second so I need three of these or I can use these assemblers yeah I can use those assemblers And then the iron will come down here. Actually, I don't even think I need. There we go. Iron will come down this belt and then be output along the second belt. That way we have the gears on the far side, iron plate in the middle here. Yeah, let's do these just in case. Prioritize all we have. And then electronic circuits. So green circuits are going to be coming along. They need, they need to be on the inside of this belt. All right. Thank you for being difficult. Much appreciated. They're going to go on the inside. So actually. We need something like this. With this and then this and then this is also going to output right Actually, there we go. There we go. Okay, so then the green circuits are good to go, all set. Let's add some lights here. And then this is going to output to a belt uh how many does this need uh oh i only need one i only need one of these things because it makes it so quick these two I think we got all of our, our ingredients now in order to make our artillery shells yes we do okay so in order to make 15 or one per second we're gonna need 15 factories so it's gonna be as easy as just looping this thing perfect this is going to make artillery shell. How's our map looking? Okay, perfect. That's fine. Okay, so how many of these? This is going to take 15 seconds, so we don't need 
you know, fast inserters or anything like that. What the hell is this thing doing? All right. And then the red inserter is like so. And then all we got to do is just copy again. So this is four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And then that's going to be 16. We can just delete this last one. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Okay, these robots are bugging me. There we go. And then this is gonna go on a train. Okay, so we're gonna bring in, our train's gonna come in like this. Let's delete these trees. And then what do we need to make the trains? Artillery wagon. So what I'm gonna, what I'm thinking of doing is at each of these outposts, there's five spots. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna make a one by four artillery train. So in order to do that, we'll need one regular locomotive and then four artillery wagons. Um, while we get over there, can I do something like real quick? There's only four. Let me delete this. Oh no, cut. Yeah, let me cut there. Add an output chest, storage chest. Boom. And paste. There we go. So that's gonna be, that's gonna make. Okay, let's grab some of our speed modules. Oh, this is probably good to, good to stop. Uh, so this, let's go back to the Mark II, Mark One, like so. Perfect. Uh, Let's go to this. What are we gonna need? We're gonna need processing unit, electric engine unit, and low density structure. Okay, that we can get. We already got the blue circuits, good. Oh. We'll go all the way back down We'll get our items needed for the power armor. Oh, jeez. For the power armor, as well as the rest of the items needed for the wagons, for the artillery wagons. And we'll we'll start building out this station. Uh, I'm gonna need a targeting remote. So let's get a radar real quick. We can just get a remote. Thank you. And then this is gonna be where we No, 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 I want that, I want that, I want this. Oh wow, I'm stupid. I don't I don't need to get these engines. I can get engines from from down at the bottom. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. You guys are probably watching like, dude, what is he doing? He has engines at the bottom where he got everything else. Ah. Uh. Yeah, don't. Don't, don't look at that. All right, I'm embarrassed. <sighs> okay, so let's, let's do the, let's do the power armor first, power armor. So we're gonna need electric unit, uh, electric engine unit and low density structure. Low density structures are gonna be found here. There's not many though. How many was that? 10, 21. How many do we need? 30, uh, okay.
I think that was perfect. Yeah, perfect. Get rid of these. And what else do we need? Electric engine unit. Okay. These are going to be a little bit easier. Oh, and this is where we can get... Oh, come on. Oh, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to request any of these. Please and thank you. Thank you. What am I missing? Oh, now I need them. Okay. I'm dumb. Uh, let's get rid of these. And then get these. How many more? Oh, whoops. Am I good now? There we go. Woo! After all that. Man, it's getting too hard for my own good. Okay. Let's put that back to zero. Okay, and then what else do we need for the... We need stuff for the trains. Oh, actually, I can get rid of... All of these things. And then put the electric engines back into here. Low density structures back into here. All right. So we got the power armor made. Boom. Now this power armor, no. This one, we can take everything out and pretty much like discard. I don't need it anymore. Okay, screw that. Boom. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be portable fusion reactor. Awesome. With our batteries. These bad boys. Those guys, awesome. So now everything's filling up. Great. Oops. I want these to go there. Okay, so we got our, where's our wagon? Okay, so let's request all of our, all the red circuits that we can. See how many come to us, as well as steel, iron gears. That should be fine. Iron gears, here we go. So we'll, we'll request all of that. So we're gonna need four of these. So I need 64 times four, which is around one or 240 plus 16 so 256 so right now i got 100 now i got 200 i need 56 more oh i need they're up here there we go that should be enough it's so much easier Red circuits, red circuits I can find here. Do not want the plastic. Okay, so that's one artillery art, artillery wagon. Can't speak today. Uh, this is gonna be where our bots are. There we go, and then this is gonna be where the remote is. Okay, cool. So we need three more of these. We need the gears. Gears I can find right here.
There we go. One, two, three. And that's four. Awesome. All right. So how are we going to break this up? Uh, I'm going to want it to face this way. Because I'm going to want this thing to be my fuel. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do that. Right there. Perfect. Artillery. Boom. Awesome. How many? I wonder how many fit because I, I completely forget. going to split that one lane into four lanes and then we're going to have some chests here no yeah i think i only want three Go. This is going to go into a chest. Like so. And I'm going to cap this at one. And then we need to connect all this to the production. There we go. All right. how this is going to work. Is we're going to split it like so. And then we're going to have this one come down the other one. That way we have a little bit of a buffer and it'll fill them up real quick. There we go. And then I'm going to put the other one right here. do let's make this one kind of come around in a loop as well that looks cool all right so now all of these are being made um let's just fill up the trains There we go. So they're all pretty much even. This is going to come back to artillery until 
full cargo. And then there's not really going to be anything else. Everything else is going to be manual. Whoa, why? There we go. And then I'm going to have this one loop. There we go. This is going to be like this. I'm going to need one on either end here. Something like that. Cool. So it's going to come in from the inside. Come in from the inside. It can go on the inside as well. And then it's got to go on this one as well. This, that, that, that. Perfect. All right, so then that's our artillery train. Woo! And then let's let's see it in action before we end the episode. Let's just play some lights real quick. Then place lights here. Cool. That's set. All right, what do we want to do first? We're gonna want this artillery train to go. Can you not go here? You can turn, can't you turn left? Why can't you turn left? Or did I do the signals wrong? I probably did the signals wrong, to be honest. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. They're going this way. So now this train should, yes. And then I'm gonna do circuit condition. Empty cargo actually. Let's follow this all the way down. Is there the hell? Let's just do artillery wall. I might need to actually go to a station in order to do it. Excuse me, I had to do a little sneeze. Sorry for the cut. And then, so I'm gonna delete that, go to art wall. Empty cargo. Let's try that again. Oh, 
long is it going to take for it to come back? Oh, it's got to do the whole loop. Great. All right. But I do have this thing now. Let's see if they automatically automatically target. Hmm. Not happy right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because the automatic range is isn't there. So I need to I need to manually do it from map mode. All right, so let's And you can see it's just it's demolishing it. See if we can get some of the biters before they leave. Oh, we we got some of them, nice. But I mean, we don't we don't really need it because that's gonna take care of it. Boom. All right, so let's keep on destroying the biters and then you essentially clear as far as you can and the fact that we don't have biter expansion on is a good thing because then we can clear these bases and we know that they won't re respawn somewhere closer or somewhere else so once they're clear they're clear and then we could add um we could add rails to expand our base. This is perfect. Oh, here's a big one. I probably can spread these out a little bit and save ammo. But at the same time, why? Why? Why save ammo when we can just rain terror upon biters? I love how it clears the map too, as you're as you're shooting. They just can't even see it. And it's also good for clearing out or uncovering uncovering the map so you have a little bit like that you can uncover it and we're not even halfway through <laughs> sweet sweet victory all right so uh we cleared pretty much all the all the bases within our radius and you basically just do that do that for every other place around you and then what we're going to do is we're going to add is we're going to add rails going out and then in the next playthrough we'll probably create a blueprint or something along those lines where we can add like an end station where this can venture out and clear some biters um but in the meantime you know that's i just wanted to show you guys like the benefits of just having this to clear out all the all the nests uh this is just kind of radar remnants of of um of the shots that are going out uh except for maybe this one this one might be this one might still be alive uh maybe i just forgot to to put anything on it uh but what you can do then with research is you can have artillery shell range increase 
and the shooting speed increase. But this is the big thing. You can probably get it to the point where you just stay here and research and then and then you could just expand it out as far as you want. That's the power of unlimited research. So who knows? Maybe we'll play around with that once we uh, once we unlock the the white science. But that was it for this episode, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy the content, be sure to smash that like button as well as the subscribe button and that little notification bell down there at the bottom it keeps you up to date with all the content that I release. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section down below. And if you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one content, I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash The links to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram are in the description down below. Come hang out. It's a great time. We're building a fantastic community. We'd love to have you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me on this one. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Peace.